So I recently played through Blade and Soul 2 over on stream. It was a much better looking, much better playing MMO than I had actually given it credit for and then I had anticipated it being. And ultimately, I'll admit that I had some fun with it. After posting my video on it, I had repeated questions pertaining to how I went about downloading and installing it. As this is actually a little more difficult to figure out on your own. I legitimately spent two entire days messing around downloading different files, trying with different VPNs. It was absolute torture, but I refused to give in. I wanted to see what this game was like. With this in mind, I've decided to put together this guide so that you don't have to go through what I did. If this guide helps you, then consider subscribing to the channel, not only for additional guides like this in the future, but also for the latest MMO news, announcements, and general gameplay videos. All right, so to start this off, you're going to be required to download and install the Purple Client. This is NCSoft's in-house platform that allows for you to play games like this on your PC. You could download it via their website, but I would definitely advise against doing so. The download from their website actually installs one of the Lineage mobile games onto your PC instead of Blade and Soul 2. I looked around and I couldn't really find at least on their website, a direct download for Bleed and Soul 2. So to download the correct Purple Client and subsequently Bleed and Soul 2, you're going to be required to click the link in the description that links directly to the guide on our website, mmobyte.tv. After clicking the link and navigating over to our website, scroll down until you see the download link. The file in question is going to be BNS212 underscore purple underscore installer dot exe and the file is approximately 390 megabytes this file is 100 percent safe as you can see if you watch the video above i'm double clicking it i'm installing it and this file is absolutely necessary to download and install the game without it I was not able to play it, so just go into this with that knowledge. Now after this, you're going to want to run through the normal installation process. So go ahead, set up and select your correct pathing for the game and the purple platform. This should realistically only take you a moment. After it's done installing, you're going to see a pop-up window asking for you to either sign up or log in. You can sign up with an email, you can sign up with a phone number, you can choose from various different social media accounts or your Apple account. I personally opted for my iPhone account as I wanted to be able to play this game completely cross-platform whenever I wanted. So connecting via that worked perfectly for me. Now before we go any further, stop right there. To be able to successfully see, download, install, and play the game, you're going to want to boot up a VPN. It doesn't really matter which VPN you go with. I've only tried one personally. That one in specific is exit lag. I include a link to this in all of my videos because this game has allowed me to get into Blade and Soul 2, into Moonlight Blade, into Elyon when it was only in Korea into Blue Protocol, into Lost Ark. I will have a link to that in the description in the pinned comment below. This will allow you several days premium access completely free to test this out. So click that link, sign up for an exit lag account, then boot exit lag up. You're then going to want to locate both the NC Purple and the Blade and Soul 2 options in the list to the left. And then you're going to want to have them added as active connections. This means that whenever you boot Purple up, it will connect you directly via a Korean IP. And then when you log into Blade and Soul, it's going to go ahead and do the same. Now that you have Exit Lag or whatever VPN you choose open, relaunch Purple and choose an option to log in with. Purple is going to run a fairly large update on the client, but if you use the VPN correctly, you will see a list of the games on the left in Korean, including, but not limited to, Blade and Soul 2. Again, you're going to have to wait out the update, and depending on your connection, this can take a while. I believe it took me approximately 15 minutes, maybe a little less for mine to complete, and yeah. <laughs> You, you can see my character over there, the Stiffinator. She actually legitimately looks incredible. I created this masterpiece in game and you know what? It's okay guys, it is genuinely okay. 
to be jealous. Marvel, revel in my character's glory. Now after patching is complete, Purple is going to require you to restart to apply the changes. So make sure that your VPN is still open when reconnecting to Purple after it closes. If all went well, you should now see once again the game selection over on the left. However, this time the selection of games is actually going to be in English. If you use the installation file from our website, then Blade & Soul 2 should already be installed, and you should have the option to update your game. If you did this incorrectly, you'll see the option to install the game instead, which if that's the case, then you're going to need to uninstall everything and start over completely from scratch as the game will not work. You'll receive various types of crashes, connectivity issues, and you won't even be able to log into the game. So make sure you are following this guide as closely as you possibly can. Now you're going to want to begin the update and then just just wait a really long time. My update took, I don't know, like three hours, four hours, I believe. The update is really quite large, so you might wanna find something to do in the meantime. Once the update is complete, you'll be able to click Start Game. Again, make sure your VPN is on when you do this. Now, at this point, you're going to need to do one additional step before logging into the game. Navigate on over to the Play NC website and log into your account. Use whatever method you used when signing into Purple for the first time. Make sure your country is set to Korea, agree to all of the terms, and then log into your account. Make your way on over to your profile and go to your contact information. Here, you're going to want to set up your recovery phone number. This will allow you to get into the game in just a moment. After saving your contact information, go back to the game and then click start game. Give the game a couple minutes to boot up. After the game is fully loaded, you can go about clicking somewhere to anywhere really on the screen and you're going to receive a notification requiring you confirm your identity via SMS. This is a one time thing and this is why you went ahead and added your recovery phone information to your profile. So click confirm, which is the little bottom right yellow button, then type in the confirmation code you received via text. That's it, now you can successfully log into the game. You can go ahead and create your character and you can play it without limitations. The launcher should be entirely in English, but unfortunately the game itself right now is not. That doesn't mean that it won't be translated sometime in the future, soon enough, however. Now, I will note here, if you attempt to play the game at any point without a Korean VPN, this is what's going to happen. You're going to encounter crashes exactly like this. So. If you're encountering issues like this and you have followed these instructions exactly as I have outlined, then it's your VPN. So try a different VPN. Again, I recommend exit lag and you should be more than capable of logging in and playing it to your heart's content. Now, if this guide was helpful to you, consider letting me know down in the comments section below so I know to do more of these in the future. Alternatively, if you're experiencing any issues whatsoever, let me know what in specific you are having trouble with, at what point in this guide you are having trouble, if there's anything you don't understand, and I will do whatever I can to help. But you're going to need to be specific, explicitly specific, as elaborative as humanly possible if you want me to help.